While the bankers were busy carving up the world at the G20 summit, Barack Obama was in New York City at the United Nations because he's got a new job to chair the United Nations Security Council, the most powerful position in the world government body. President Obama does what no other U.S. president ever has. As President Obama presided over the U.N.'s most powerful body. That would be the Security Council. Six. 1,191st meeting of the Security Council. For a couple of hours, you could say Mr. Obama was yes, president of the world. Me. It is the story of a world that understands that no difference or division is worth destroying all that we have built. In my own country, it has brought Democrats and Republican leaders together. Uh, leaders like George Shultz, Bill Perry, Henry Kissinger, and Sam Nunn, who are with us here today. Barack Obama is the first president to hold two posts simultaneously. And there's a good reason for that. It's illegal. Article 1, Section 9 of the Constitution forbids any U.S. president from serving any foreign government or institution. He swears an oath to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States. But now Barack Obama has sworn allegiance to the global government and the United Nations that he heads up. Let that sink in real good. Barack Obama now heads the United Nations Security Council. You cannot serve two masters, and Obama isn't. He's selling out the last vestiges of sovereignty that this country had. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the destruction of our nation, and it's also high treason.